Welcome to Trimini Lotus Update. As you can see in front of you here, this is my Black Star Amplifier, the first one I think I bought to use for my ghost boxes I was making. Now I've got the circuit here, which I finally stored into a box, a UFO sensor circuit, so pick up AC fields, even frequencies from parasite zappers. And I've got that output from that running to the input of the Black Star amp. Now I'm going to show you, good demo, how this thing can hear a tuning fork. Now, now listen to the sound of the tuning fork when I hear it. Do it again. There's no microphone inside that to hear it. It's only a little fine coil, 1700 ohm coil, which was taken out of a bell ringer mechanism of a, the old dial telephones, you know, the ones with the dials that you dial. That, yeah. Now, I mean, parasite zappers here. I'll show you how he hears that. Hear the clicking noise? Parasite zappers going there, turn the frequency up. One, I've got about nine frequencies to choose on Parasite Zapper. Next one. These are the output frequencies being picked up. Oh, the hell, turn that off. Okay, now that one. Next one. Hang on. Oh. Oh. Normally, here's it better. Hang on. That sense is. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That sense is picking it up. Okay. Now turn it up again. It's a frequency from the parasite zapper. That parasite zapper there, been received by the inductive coil inside that EMF sensor or UFO detector, whatever you want to call it. Okay, now I'm going to turn the frequency up now. I've got about nine frequencies to choose from in this parasite zapper circuit here. Okay, now the frequencies, I don't know how it's doing it, but this circuit here, the inductive coil, is actually picking up the frequencies from my switch in that there. Now, if I grab that, it gets louder. If I grab both of them, let go, it gets a bit lower. I'm going to turn the next frequency up. There we are. The Black Star Amplifier is amplifying all the frequency outputs for this parasite zapper. And this circuit is sensing it, picking it up, and generating a tone for it. Now I'm going to switch to the next one. That's the highest frequency. Now we'll see how high I get. Next one. That's about it. Probably at the end. Well, the last couple of capacitors are not generating any frequency, but all these ones are. Switch it down. And again. And again. The parasite zapper. There we are. And this is it. Okay. Now, let's give the tuning fork another ring again. Here's a tuning fork, a ringing tuning fork. Now I've got a very sensitive, powerful VLF receiver by a couple of little ages ago, sitting right up there, and that can hear a tuning fork and even hear a pulse from a watch. Now this is my watch. Now listen to the pulse from the watch. I'll take your watch off here. Okay. I'll take my watch off here and sit it right on top of that core there. There we are. So EM pulses from my watch. Now the other circuit I just showed you recovered there is so sensitive it can pick up the EM pulse two feet away from the watch. It's only tiny. So just imagine how big a UFO EM pulse from the UFO will sound. Okay. There we are. That's the sound of your watch. Okay. Now I'll turn the VLF, I'll turn the, the sensor circuit off. 
area, and I've just got my parasocks up and running, then I'll turn that off. And that's it. Okay, thank you for watching my demonstration and my video. Thank you very much.